right. Uh, I need to get my hair cut, too. I haven't really done much with my hair over break. Um, anyways, writing the equation of a parabola with a vertex h comma k. The standard equation for a parabola with a vertex h k can be found by translating from 0, 0 to h k. Um, translating is a fancy word that means move or slide. So let's write this down. Now remember, I'm going to start grading your notes. So try to write down what I write down. So translate means slide. We're on example two. We did example one right before break. Okay, so we're on example two. This is page 127 in my textbook. It might be different for you guys. Um, if you want to kind of. What's that? We did this one already. Well, let me go. Well, we did example one. No, we're at example. Well, let me go. I'm recording. Let me go over this again. I don't have a video for this. Go and listen again. Um, so then we substitute x minus h for x, and we substitute y minus k for y. Uh, this also translates the focus and directrix um, each by the same amount. So what we did do is explain uh, directrix right, and focus. Now, the focus is kind of like the center or focal point of a parabola. The directrix is a line that's perpendicular to the line of symmetry um, and is equidistant from the parabola curve itself to the focus, okay? So if you guys don't remember. So if we move our vertex away from the origin, then it changes the formulas a little bit. In other words, let me let me jump in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. What we talked about last time was this stuff, right? Writing a parabola with a vertex at zero, zero, and we had all this information. And based on the information we were given, we had to determine if it was a vertical parabola or a horizontal parabola. But notice that in all of those examples, the vertex was through the origin. And so what we're discussing now is what does it look like when we move the vertex away from the origin? Well, it changes things slightly, okay? Um, and how does it change it? Well, it's still the same thing. We have to determine if the, if, the, um, if the graph opens up, right? So vertical means that the graph will open up, right? So this is my xy plane. And this is X, and I'm not going to write this down every time, but I just want to remind you guys that this is the XY plane. And we're trying to determine if it opens upward for a vertical parabola. And this vertex can move anywhere, right? The vertex now is going to be H comma K, which is a translation from the origin. Um, we can also have a parabola that opens down. And we can also have a parabola that opens to the right. We could also have a parabola that opens to the left. And so these are all going to be somewhere in the two-dimensional XY plane. Somewhere. Where they are, we don't know. But they're somewhere. And then also, I should note that vertical parabolas are functions. And horizontal are not functions. They're mathematical equations, therefore they're mathematical relationships, but they're not a function. Okay, so anytime you see a horizontal parabola, there's a mathematical equation. That mathematical equation is this, but it is not a function. Here, this is a mathematical equation, but it is a function. Okay? So then the focus is located at, for vertical, h comma k plus b. And then for a horizontal, it's h plus p comma k. Uh, the directrix for a vertical would be y equals k minus p. And then x for a horizontal, x equals um, h minus p. And then for the axis of symmetry, x equals h. And for a horizontal, y equals k. So p is found halfway between the directrix and the focus. 
for vertical parabolas, P is the Y value of the focus minus the Y value of the directrix divided by 2. For a horizontal parabola, um, it's the X value of the focus minus the X value of the directrix divided by 2. All right, so it's the arithmetic average of these X or Y values depending on whether the parabola opens up or down, which is vertical, right, or sideways, right? So anyways, the vertex can be found by relating the coordinates of the focus to H and K and P. So again, we're basically going to be given some sort of information here. And then from that information, we're going to determine what P, H, and K are, and then work backwards to figure out the rest. Does that make sense? So let's jump into this bad boy and see how this helps. So if I look at this, they're going to give us some information. All right, so it says that my focus is 3 comma 2, right? So my focus is 3 comma 2. And the directrix is y equals 0. So they give us a graph as well. So this is a vertical. Parabola. Why does that always do that? Cuts off the top sometimes. So then my vertex will be somewhere down here. Well, how do I find the p value? Well, the p value, remember that this represents an x value and this represents a y value. So my y value of the focus is 2 minus the x value the y value of the directrix, which is 0. So 2 minus 0 divided by 2 is 1. So I have p equals 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare all this information. In other words, I should have this somewhere. I have it on the other screen. I'm only going to do or use this information. If P is greater than 0, which it is in this case, P is 1, that means my parabola opens up. Guess what? My parabola opens up. To find the vertex, what's the vertex? It's H comma K plus P. So to find the vertex of this thing, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to say H equals the X coordinate of the focus. That's on that previous table. So that's 3. And then to find k, to solve for k, the y value of the focus is k plus p. Well, we know that k plus p equals 2, right? So how do we know that it equals 2? Well, the y value equals 2, right? The y value of the focus is equal to k plus p. So it's like saying k plus P equals Y. What Y value? The Y value of the focus. What's the Y value of the focus? 2. Well, we know that P equals 1, so something plus 1 equals 2. Well, that means K equals 1. So now we know that K equals 1. We know that H equals 3. We have all the information that we need to write the equation. We said on this previous line that the equation is x minus h, or on the previous slide, x minus h is equal to 4 times p, right, times y minus k squared. Uh, no, this, this last one isn't squared, sorry. And that's it. That's all we do. Well, what is that? That's going to be x minus what's h. 3 squared, which is equal to 4, times P, what's P? 1, uh, times Y minus K, what's K? 1. Uh, all this reduces down to this. Then it says plot the, first, the uh, focus, um, the directrix, and the parabola. Well, I already did the graph, right? But what is the focus? Well, the focus is 3 comma 2, right? So now I've got to plot the directrix. Now, what did we say the directrix was? Well, the directrix was y equals 0. So y equals 0 is a horizontal line 
where the y value equals zero. Now I'm purposefully drawing it to where you can see the red. That is the directrix y equals zero. So this is the focus right here. The point three comma two, right? Three comma two. And let's label that the focus. They gave us that. Um, we said that the vertex that's the vertex right there. Well now it looks like I'm drawing it to the let me do it a little different. This is the vertex here. Um, the vertex is H comma K. And we said that that was going to be H is 3, K is 1. Does that make sense? And then lastly, I think what we should probably keep in mind is that the purpose of the directrix is that if I draw a line from here to here to the directrix, that's equidistant. It's the same distance from here to here. So this value, this line segment S, whatever that is, is equal to S. That's what the directrix does. That's how we graph a parabola. Those are equidistant. Does that make sense? Such that this forms a 90 degree angle with the directrix. Okay, any questions on that? Now we can just graph this in our graphing calculator. Well, this one is easy because it's a function. So if I take this and I do a bunch of math and solve for y, but I don't need to do all that because I'm going to do this in Desmos. So Desmos is one way that you could graph this. And so we said it was x, x minus 3 uh, squared is... Um, equal to, what was the rest of it, uh, 4 times the quantity y minus um, 1, okay? By the way, this is the vertex, 3 comma 1. Um, we could also plot y equals 0. I'm going to change the color of that. Crap, I can't remember how you change the color of it. Oh, well. It's the blue line. Um, and then lastly, we can plot the point of the vert uh, or uh, the focus, which is 3, 2. And we'll give that a label. We'll call this the focus. And then we can also plot the um, vertex 3, 1. And we'll call that the vertex. Um, and that's it. So we could do this. Um, and we'll put that in our notes as well. Okay. Any questions? All right. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So the key.